Hey guys, finishing out the day here. Got a couple things I want to do on this here bead roller, um, and I'll show you what I'm talking about. All right, well, I purchased this bead roller from Eastwood, um, and for what it is, it does a pretty good job. The problem that I saw originally was uh, I just added this right here, this uh, little lever spring that raises the upper shaft, and then a lockdown mechanism right there to lock it in place. One of the other problems with this was, this was your actuator, this was your motor. So if you didn't have three arms, two to head your handle your metal and one to crank the handle, you needed a partner. Don't always have a partner. So my thing was, right off the bat, I incorporated a drill motor. Half inch drill motor, run on a, uh, I don't know what size pulley it is, I guess it's a 12 inch pulley. And, uh, and then I had a uh, cable driven foot activator. It's made it go. So as I just let off the pedal and I got probably another four seconds of uh, travel. So if your timing isn't perfect and you have a bead that you only want so long, um, you better look out. Now it will stop a little quicker when it's got pressure on it. I will give it that and I've been able to run some beads with it and be okay. But Eastwood and their infinite wisdom and their design department have come up with a drive motor for this thing, which I am going to replace this system with. And here we have it. This is the bead roller drive motor system uh, purchased through Eastwood. Runs just under 400 bucks. Um, I think it's going to be well worth its weight in gold. Um, you've basically, this is a hookup uh, it bolts up in two areas over on the bead roller that already has bolts going through it. They give you the extended bolts that you'll need to compensate for the quarter inch metal. And then of course you have a uh, shaft coupler that uh, hooks your motor to the drive shaft on the uh, bead roller. So it's going to be just, uh, we'll hook this thing up, see how she flies. Alrighty then, got all the crap off in it. It's bare bones for the most part. Some of these brackets and stuff, uh, I'm just gonna leave them alone. They're not gonna be in the way of anything. By the way, this uh, lower portion of the stand is actually the uh, stand for the planishing hammer at Harbor Freight. Uh, it works out pretty good, does a good job. Now see, I reinforced this, uh, this whole bead roller outfit here and then uh, made the stand for it to go up onto. But uh, anyway, so now what we'll do is we'll See about fitting the motor up to it and stuff. I don't have a stand for my phone here real quick, so I'm not gonna be able to show it going on. It's no big deal anyways, couple bolts. All right, about a half hour's worth of work. Uh, I gotta tell you, uh, this is so impressive how this gets this little bead roller working out good. Um, yeah, and I uh, welded onto that uh, planishing hammer stand some pegs to put the dies on. So in a second here, we'll, uh, we'll run some metal through it, but this is the um, controller. And I'm on reverse, I can go to forward. And you can see here on my homemade tip and die, how nice that goes. Now I'm gonna speed it up. I can speed it right up, or I can slow her down. And I let off, she stops. That's the beautiful thing. I'm tell you what, Eastwood came through. This is a great way to make a cheap bead roller into a nice bead roller. Uh, really pleased with this thing. Yep, we'll run some metal. All right, so we have a standard bead, and then we have a, a set of step beads. I changed them out, put on here. Uh, so if you wanted to make a truck bed, I have a bed to make on a uh, total Land Cruiser. So this can uh, work real well. And also just purchased from Eastwood, a set of what they call step dies that will take the place of not only this set of dies, 
but two other set of dies that have various uh, varying degrees of uh, depth to them. So the step die should replace all what I need there, but these dies that I have existing right now uh, work fine, and it makes a uh, very nice deal. Nice and quiet, runs, stops when you want it to. It's awesome. Loving this thing. Well, thanks for watching, guys. Uh, as I upgraded my Eastwood bead roller with an Eastwood drive motor, uh, making it uh, just absolutely amazing. It's a game changer. So, hoping to uh, be able to video a few of the projects coming up. 77 total Land Cruiser is going to get rebuilt. And uh, that's probably the main one. A few other odds and end panels. A couple even aviation parts. But uh, that's going to be the main thing. Hope to uh, get a few of them on video for you. All right, you guys take care.